quite a shape in Illustrator. Illustrator 222, not earlier versions, because this is only in the latest version. So what you got? 3D materials. You can find that via window, 3D materials, as well as effect and 3D materials extrude, etc. And you can see once you've applied it, it will turn up in the appearance. So let's just run through them. So object, you've got object there, you can click there. And now if you go over here to the selection tool, you can see this interactive tool. So you can manipulate it on screen using that. And that's the only way, just go there. And you can still see, of course, the original shape. So you can edit that if you wish as well. You've also got extrude, all the sort of features that were in before. You can modify extrude, rotate, revolve, etc. However, I'm just gonna go back to plane because all those other ones were in earlier versions, just in slightly different form. But you've got materials now. Materials is a great new feature. You've got all materials, because you can break that down. And you've got a base material, which is just puts it back to the default. But you've also got all these, and they've got loads and loads of properties. So it's a really great way of adding. And I'm just gonna go for one of them. You've got marble, you've got gold, you've got steel, so on and so on. So click marble, or steel. You can see, you can create a variety of different designs. And again, you still interactively can modify that design, move it around. You can also resize it, of course. You can say, you know what, I want it slightly bigger so you can actually see it. And you can see the design there. But you've got a load of material properties. And that's the thing that's really useful because you can use this to just create just backgrounds and designs and things. It doesn't have to be for just purely 3D. It could be for adding a texture to a shape. So you can create all kinds of different shapes. And you've got here steel color variations. You can vary that. Some are very subtle. I would have to say roughness variation. Dirt, very subtle again. But you can see subtle changes with these. You've got intensity, relief variation, and so on and so on. You can change them. Probably this one is probably going to show more examples of changes when I run through. You can think paint color. So if you decide, you know what? I want a different color. You can change the paint color. Maybe make it black. And you can see that. You've also got here pattern. So you can run through, there's four patterns. And you can run through, and they've all got variations like this. They're all different. So zinc is different from the marble, it's different from the gold, etc. So you've got a ton of properties you can go through. Pattern warp intensity, you can change that. Change the offset. Change the density. So if you want it a lot smaller, the design, you can see you can create a variety of designs there. Lots of these have also got this as well, contrast, as well as hue shift. So if you want, say, a gold or red, you can change this very quickly by doing this. Whole range of different options, which you just go through these slides and just work through. And you can also change the resolution if you don't want it to be so high. However, what you can also do, you've got lighting. Now, it's not amazing lighting. It's not real 3D lighting. It would be brilliant if there was a... However, you've got color, so you can change the color. If you want blue, Instead, go for a blue, you can change intensity, rotation, you can see as you apply that over there. Now that actually works probably best, let's just go back to materials, let's just select steel. So you've got steel, go to lighting, you can see as you do the rotation, it does change very nicely. You can modify it in a number of ways, softness, intensity, and so on and so on. And you've got shadows. Shadows, to be honest, I don't think particularly work brilliantly. They, they do, but they don't really create a great range of shadows, personally. So you've got that, and you can also render it as well. Personally, the end result, I think, is it looks fine to me, already just in that state. But what you can also do, you've got with the render, you've also got render as vector as well, which is an interesting option. But you can see you've got it all over here. So what you can also do, it's just an effect, which you can go to effect, and you can say distort, and just add some other ones. So if you want, you can modify that, do zigzag. And you can see what happens. So you can create that. So you can create some interesting designs just by that. But also you can go to, down here, all the various Photoshop ones. So maybe radial blur, which can be added on top of, let's just, just quickly do that, click apply. Okay, so it might take a few seconds, break. but you can do all kinds of things with this 3D materials and you can see the result there. So that's appearance. Now, also what you can course can do, you can always go to the window and you've got graphic styles. So you can save this graphic style, this style. You can save the whole lot of these settings to that, which is a way 
of quickly accessing them with another shape. So if you decide, you know what, let's just use type or whatever, or one of these other shapes, you can use that with those materials. Creates a great way of loads of materials that's added very quickly. And again, you can always add it very quickly simply by just going click on there and it adds it. So you've got a great background within seconds in Illustrator. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.